I just want to start, first of all, by saying, and I think I speak on behalf of my colleagues as well, that we've been absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of support that we've had from the public. Um, it's been really tough, actually, for the last few months. Morale has been really low amongst the doctors, and it's made such a difference when we feel like we can't fight on, we haven't got anything left to give to this, and then we turn around and we see people like yourself supporting us, and that's what keeps us going, and that's what reminds us what it's worth fighting for. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Thank you. The second thing I want to say is, um, this isn't a moan about how tough it is to be a junior doctor, because I love my job, and of course it's tough, but I knew it was tough before I started. It's, it's exhausting, it's emotionally, um, physically, mentally draining, but it's incredibly rewarding and I love it. And I'm so proud to be able to call myself an NHS doctor. Um, so um, last Friday I finished my 90 hour week and I work on a one in six rotor. So that means I do that every six weeks. I have a 90 hour week, which is six days of 12 and a half to 13 hour shifts sandwich between two seven hour days um, and if that sounds brutal it's probably because it is brutal but looking at what the contracts and what the rotors would be for next year if this contract was pushed through it looks it looks even worse um, I had a look on the NHS employers website at what their suggested rotors were and there are rotors of doctors working 48 hours straight um, does anyone want to be treated by a doctor who's just finished 48 hours? No! <laughs> um, there are rotors of nine days in a row which flip between nights and days without any time to recover in between. Um, having worked night a night shift, and I can tell you it takes mm, around about 48 hours to feel human in the day again. And I think this is where the issue is, that these rotors are being churned out with the expectation that doctors can act like robots and switch on and switch off. But we need time to recover to be able to give it our best again when we start the day shift. Yeah. There are rotors of people working every other weekend. Um, and with the pay that doctors will get going down at the weekend, it just... It, there are doctors that have young families and the cost of childcare at the weekend, I don't have children, but I'm told it's A, incredibly difficult to get and B, if you can get it, very expensive. Now I work, uh, one of my colleagues, she has two young children. She's an incredible doctor. She is, she's amazing with her patients. She's so hardworking, she's so intelligent. But she looked at the rota for next year and how much she would get paid and how much it would cost her to put her children in care while she comes to work. And that, and plus the costs of exams and the mandatory courses, which can be <coughs> around about £1,000 each that we pay, and the GMC registration and the insurance and the student debt. She just worked out it wasn't going to be financially possible for her to continue working and continue training. And that's, an, that's a really sad loss because she's, she's a wonderful doctor. She's the one I want looking after me when I get sick. And, and that's an not an isolated case, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, lots of the conversations of work at the moment are, what would you do next year if this came in? And the general theme is, well, for people in this region, to move to Wales is an option. Um, people are talking about moving to Scotland. And there's also people moving even further afield to Australia. And worryingly, people who have, say, taken a year out and gone to get more experience abroad in Australia or New Zealand in the last couple of years aren't coming back. It's not uncommon, it hasn't been for years, for doctors to go away for a year and bring back that experience back to the NHS. But now they're not doing it. They're looking at the mess that, that we're in and they're understandably staying there so I agree I think we do need more doctors to work at the weekend but we need more doctors to work Monday to Friday as well and stretching what we've got over five days to try and stretch that over seven days well it doesn't take a genius to work out that that's not going to work we've got huge gaps in our rota already we we can't fill the gaps that there already are and with doctors moving abroad doctors just 
throwing in the towel and saying they can't carry on working like this, they can't keep going, they can't afford to leave their family and go to work, there are going to be even more gaps. So my fear is, and it's been touched on before today, my fear is that the government doesn't mind if doctors work, because actually that opens up the space for private companies to take in. So we have, we have one of the best healthcare systems in the world, and I, I, <laughs> I love working for the NHS, we're the envy of the world, and I'm not going to give up fighting for that. So thank you all for your support.